Working with NRCS to develop a nutrient management plan on your farmland can help you better understand and account for nutrients while using quantifiable data to create solutions on your land. We're in the Santa Maria Valley in Los Alamos and we're on Sergio Madrano's land. I grow strawberries, that's the first thing. I have uh, 25 acres of green beans and I have uh, eight acres mix. It's a lot of stuff just to little rows for the farmer's market. Our local resource partner, the Kachuma Resource Conservation District, they had a Spanish speaker on staff there. They introduced him to our agency and he started working with us about three years ago. Sergio is growing here. A lot of his operation is on very sandy soils and when he applies his nutrients, they are readily leached down through the profile into groundwater, which can be problematic for human health. The water over here is too important because it's a little more hot. So I frequently two, two times a week for two, three hours. It depends the block because I have a soil sample. Some blocks is a little more sandy. Here especially, there's a lot of sandy soils. And so if you're applying too much nutrients and irrigating too much, it pushes those nutrients out of the root zone and into the groundwater. Farmers should keep in mind this is not only a problem in sandy soil. Too much water can leach nutrients in many types of soil. And the other thing is important to me to, to, to not contaminate the, the sea. Sergio identified nutrient management, irrigation water management. He talked a lot about pest management too. As a planner, we'll kind of go through a nine-step planning process with them, identify resource concerns, figure out different alternatives to address those resource concerns. And then, um, if need be, we'll bring out a specialist like Karen. So we're looking at plant health, we're looking at plant varieties. We're trying to ask our clients to think about measuring to manage. So have good quantitative information that they're using to guide their management decisions. And I walk the field every week. Every week I take a sample of the soil and divide in my field in blocks and see how every block, what I need it. So we're helping them think about a nutrient budget, knowing what you apply and where it goes, and also thinking about when you add it. So we like to think about the right source, the right time, the right place, and the right amount of nutrients being added to the plant. They help me to do the quick test to the nitrates, just uh, take a sample of the soil and just put it in chlorine, calcium chlorine, and just check in. It's, it's fast to see how much nitrates, nitrates you have in the, in the soil. He also does leaf testing, which gives him a snapshot of what his plant is actually finding in the soil. You see the leaves, is big. It's big to the other ones. So what happened with this plant? The plant is coming back. Nutrient management really is a pretty complex um, thing, and I like to say that the farmers are part artist and part scientist, and they really are to make all the judgments necessary to, to get a good crop out of the ground. The practices that we help them with, like nutrient management, can help them overall with their production, but also to be better stewards of the land. Yes, learn, learn for me. So everything is coming to the, these companies. For me, that's good because I'm learning too. If you'd like more information on nutrient management or other conservation practices, contact the District Conservationist at your NRCS office or visit our website.